So today we have a nice bunch of information for the Isle of Rima covering update 4, update 4.5, update 5 and we'll also be talking about some small clips that came from a stream the other day. However, we have quite a bit of interesting information today, some that you'll be very excited to hear and um, well regarding that we're going to go right into that in a second. The timestamps for all the stuff are on the screen now so you could go to those specific parts of the video and so you can skip the rest of this intro if if you desire if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy this video feel free to like and subscribe it helps the video and the channel out a ton and if you want to see more dinosaur game content the subscription will definitely be worth it anyways let's just get right into this video shall we Let's start with the update for development news. So we have some news that is about the development state of update 4 currently. We've been waiting for this news because it's been like two, three weeks since we've had any big updates come regarding the stress test or the Trello board ticks for update 4. You know, every time I've done a recap, it was always a big paragraph from the dev saying, yes, we're working on this. It's taking some time but we are working on it. However, today we have the information that we really craved and we did desire. So we got some brand new ticks on the Trello board, everybody. And this section will also be including some Pachycephalosaurus stuff, which is for update 4.5 as well. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Let's have a look at what has been completed and ticked on the Trello board this week. Almost all of the systems have had brand new QA testing fields ticked off for the update 4 and update 4.5 stuff. This includes for the diet system they now have completed and ticked off ad hoc testing which leaves them with play testing and balance testing left to complete fractures now has completed balance and ad hoc testing which means three out of the four tasks are now completed and done for the fractures update which means the last one left is only play testing which includes the public stress test. Now we move on to Pachycephalosaurus now with some brand new updates for it. This one is the ticks off for both balance testing and ad hoc testing as well, similar to the fractures update. However, of course, this also means play testing is left to be completed. That being said, Pachycephalosaurus is not due to come out in update 4, it's coming out in update 4.5. The developers have said this and have said this quite a bit. I talked about it in one of my last videos. That being said, the developers did say something regarding the development of update 4 and this came with this new update. So let me just read that out for you. They said, Hey Islanders, it's been a lot of bug fixing and QA testing. Throughout this process, we've eradicated an enormous number of bugs and we're now on the verge of deploying the stress test for update 4. Development staff are now receiving and beginning preliminary work on new tasks, such as features that are slated for update 5. Two things that we can bring out of this part here. Update 5's development has now officially started. I'm going to go into that a little bit more in the next section. And Update 4's stress test is literally on the horizon and I cannot wait for this. It's very exciting to me. Overall, I just can't wait for Update 4. We've been waiting four months, four to five months for this whole update since Update 3 dropped. And it's very exciting to me. I can't wait for it. And overall, it's just going to be a big one hell of an update. And then we have update 4.5 coming later. Are you guys excited for the playtest? I expect it'll be coming out in the next couple days. Maybe this video is out after the playtest is released. Because all they need to do is tick off the balance testing for diets. And then that's that done. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And now we have it. The talk that you all wanted to hear Update 5! Yes, I'm finally uploading a video which includes Update 5 titles in it, which I'm pretty proud of. I can begin my Update 5 video titles, I guess, or news, which probably won't be starting for the next couple of weeks, probably. But we now have the official information for Update 5 because it has been officially started by the developers. Like I said in my previous part of the video, the devs did say development staff are also now receiving and beginning preliminary work on new tasks such as features that are slated for update 5. This also could include some map features that are coming in update 4.5, maybe new human structures and maybe some more work on the compies if they're not in update 4 and maybe some more concept art and stuff like that. 
I like the way the developers here are working essentially. They're working in a update by update basis, which is very nice. And then they dish out new tasks when the update is completed, which I'm very happy to see. It was a lot better than how it was previously, a big jumbled mess at that. However, what do we exactly get in update 5? If you guys aren't aware and haven't checked out the Trello board, I recommend you do. Here's a quick rundown of what is coming in update 5. I'm probably going to make a fuller, more complete video in the near future about what you can expect properly in update 5 and go into depth on each thing. So, firstly, you'll be getting a skin system in the game. This will include uh, customizable skins and stuff like that, and more skins for each dinosaur kind of like in legacy and you'll also be getting a, le a nesting system and in inheritance system within the game which is going to be very nice overall this is definitely one of the bigger updates and might take just as long as update 4 has talked so stick around for that and uh, of course there's no new dinosaur in update 5 or update 5.5 update 5.5 which i assume will start its development journey probably halfway through the development of update 5 this one increases or adds improved day night cycle and adds night vision to the game which is something that well is going to be torturous when it actually eventually gets added to the game are you guys excited for update 5 let me know in the comments down below i'm very excited for nesting and finally the skin system within the game. I can't wait to customize my own skins on my dinosaurs and make them more jazzy compared to everyone else's. I wonder how that's gonna go. What do you guys think? And to round things off in this video, we have some small little things regarding the AI food that's going to be in update 4. We have two little clips that I have to talk about here, or to show you guys from Amorak's recent stream, which kind of showcases two of the little food items that are going to be in the game, that will be running away from you and you little carnivores will be able to eat. So, these were from the 2nd of September, so these are only from a couple of days ago when I'm recording this video. I'm recording it on Saturday, it's going out on Monday. However, we have some small things regarding some food items. The small video here is of a ball being chased down by a Utah Raptor. Shows that these big piggies basically run away from the Utahs. However, there's also talk about these big piggies being able to fight back and challenging even big herbivores like Tonontosaurus when they're in the area. So they'll be treating all dinosaurs similar unless you're a big carnivore. They'll definitely run away there. However, these little piggies will be probably turning into just a sack of meat when they're attacked, like in this video. Kind of does showcase the model of these off a little bit, which I think is pretty nice. I think they look pretty neat, and it's very nice overall. But yes, the boars can fight back. It's not shown in this video, but they are said to be able to fight back, especially against smaller and less threatening creatures, and they're also able to do that against herbivores as well. Next video shows some animations for the chicken, which is one of the other AI food items that are going to be in the game to vary up your diets as a carnivore. This looks pretty nice, just shows it looking around. And that's pretty much all I have for the AI so far. I've covered these a bit more in my previous video or one of my previous videos. However, this is what we have so far. A little chicken looking around and a boar being hunted by a Utah Raptor. Unless you want to include the random chicken noises that Amarak did make. However, these sounds are made by him and they're jokes. And, well, I'm going to play them on the screen now because they are absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, it has no attenuation, it sounds horrendous. <laughs> Other than that, everybody, that is the brand new The Isle of Reman news video for everything you need to know from the last week regarding the Isle of Rima. If you want to check out my recent video on the game, go check it out. If you want to check out my other videos, you can. And if you are new and you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, maybe like, if you want to support the channel further, of course. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.